Wow. Um, it's a week before the official date for the Japanese release of Dragon Ball Super Super Hero drops. And we already got the final TV spot. Is it time? Let's get into it. Here we go. Go on. <laughs> yes! Yes! They didn't show us! Let's go! They didn't show us! Okay, so obviously, what am I all excited for? Well, um, for those that are wondering why I haven't talked about Cell Max, because that is basically what was officially, non-officially, but I say officially, non-officially, because Geekdom is the one who broke the news on exactly what we can expect this big, bad final threat for this film is going to be but i have to add the unofficially part because obviously he's not you know he's not toei he's not anyone that's been working on this film but he is on the inside on some you know low key high keys type ish and he knows and he's got his sources and he reported yesterday that yes it is in fact cell and yes it is in fact a form that is not obviously the original cell and it's actually going to be Something that I actually, you guys are going to hear this on the, the the new Full Power podcast, so you're getting a little preview of that too from, from me right now. I did mention as a joke, like what if what was in that pod is like on some monstrous Harutagarn type stuff. And I guess I was kind of right because apparently this new Cell Max is going to be like huge in comparison to the original Cell. I'm bringing all this up because I haven't made a video about you know my thoughts on the whole cell max thing yet and so i figured well maybe whenever they do finally possibly decide to show us that cell form then then i would talk about it but obviously that didn't happen because then this kind of fell into our laps and surprised the hell out of me so here we go um they of course didn't in fact show us and I'm very happy about that. I'm I'm very happy about that because I've been saying, man, like, I really hope that they don't really just spoil it because it's going to be different once the movie is officially out and people are watching it in Japan. And I'm sure there's going to be, like, some really terrible cam rips and all that stuff. So here we go. Let's analyze this, break this down um, scene by scene. So straight up, this part right here is more than likely going to be what's on the thumbnail i might it might it might not but this is thumbnail worthy so we're seeing piccolo changing gohan out of look yo my man first of all gohan's got a macbook you see that <laughs> that's so funny and then uh you know he he this is definitely gohan's study it looks like he's i mean surrounded in books i can't imagine piccolo having a room like this this would, this would be kind of weird if piccolo did but he's putting him back into the original look that gohan had way back in the day dragon ball z so this is really nice to see right and he's all shocked and this is a cool shot of them fighting side by side now i'd imagine during this scene a lot of the scenes that we've seen they are in an area where it's you know it seems like it's dark it's a lot of purple you know what i'm saying they're clearly all fighting cell max all of them right and i may be at some point and i didn't i didn't touch on this um yet but i was kind of wondering like i wonder if the gammas are gonna turn out being like good guys because if we i mean history tends to repeat itself as obviously you know we're getting cell in some form right and with cell came before before cell came all the androids right and now that gamma one and gamma two are new androids i wonder if those androids are about to be you know a part of the z warriors or superheroes if that's what we're gonna start calling them from now on um but yeah look at look at this shot right here they're they're definitely all fighting against cell max now this is this is uh i think this is new in the sense of the angle that they're showing us and also i'm trying i'm also pointing out right here you guys can see my mouse this time 
um this green spurt of blood this looks like the same green spurt of blood that pan was in front of when it from that uh, from an older shot that it looked like she was definitely involved in fighting a bunch of those like red ribbon army grunts or whatever so i just i, I just noticed that myself just now so that's really cool and then we go into this like actual fight scene uh they give us a little bit more so th this whole this like few seconds this is all brand new i don't think we've seen this yet uh, we've seen other angles and whatnot um and then this we actually just saw in the last trailer um gohan deflecting one of those laser gunshots that um i think it was either gamma one or two i can't remember who shot it initially we've seen this already before the uh the the uh well, it, it's it's first thing in the morning i'm having a brain fart i'm sorry um <laughs> my son's so fucking bold. i can i hear it in my head <laughs> special view cannon there it is okay there it is all right and then we've seen this shot too um don't know exactly what's happening here i haven't figured out what this is and i feel like this is an attack that's because obviously when you see it you know it, it just blows up it's like a destructive you know burst or whatever right and then of course we see the ending shot here at the very end of the trailer gohan powering up so maybe this that part is him doing his whole ultimate awakened form right where it's like what we've already seen is basically the awakened form with the super saiyan two sparkles you know what i'm saying the, that electricity uh aura and that's it that is it so that is the third and final tv spot i don't think there's going to be any other trailers going forwards considering that the movie is coming out next week literally a week from tomorrow is when japan will actually have it in their theaters i'm not sure if they do like thursday night showings like they do here in america at least for like you know really popular movies like for like the marvel films and whatnot we're basically it's around the, it's literally around the corner like we're coming up on that and the next thing that we're gonna have to all worry about is seeing a lot more spoilers actual spoilers coming from the japanese audience and anyone who's actually able to go out there to japan to go see that film and I'm hoping that sooner rather than later, they do give us an official date. I'm hoping that it is end of August, personally, just because I know that if that is the case, I will actually be able to go see it with Brother Ooch, which is uh, actually pretty exciting. And other than that, um, yeah, man, I'm really happy. I'm And I'm surprised that with how they decided to go about the promotion for this and the marketing for this uh, i'm gonna have a video coming out pretty soon about how i really feel like the promotion and marketing for this movie has been pretty bad not gonna lie but that like i said is for another video more importantly i am super excited that they didn't actually do something that they normally do and spoil the hell out of you know what is kind of obvious has been obvious for people that can pick up on a lot of the hints and the things that they've been showing us so far but yeah man they didn't show us and i'm happy and i'm grateful for that so now we just have to wait and see how it all turns out so let me know what you guys think in the comments below make sure you're liking and sharing and subscribing and really quick before i do go i just wanted to say thank you guys because we actually hit a personal goal of mine that i don't i, I didn't think that we would ever get out of i've been stuck in this thirty-seven thousand purgatory number for the last four years ever since the dragon ball super anime ended and ever since then like i said it's it's been a struggle just to get out of that number but i think we're finally at a point now where we can be happy and celebrate that we are now moving on up and we are past the thirty-eight thousand mark <laughs> So I just wanted to say a big thank you to all you guys that are here on the channel that are liking, supporting, sharing, subscribing, hitting the alerts, and just making sure you guys are checking that back in with me as I am really trying to push for this full-time grind here uh, doing the content for you guys on this channel. So thank you once again. I am very appreciative of that, and I will be seeing you guys soon. We'll keep talking more Dragon Ball and everything else. 
And uh, all the links, uh, supporting links will be in the description as always. So make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves. May the power protect you. Keep it locked loaded right here on this channel. Stay safe. Stay clean. Stay the hell inside. I'll see you guys next time.